This evening pilgrimage marks the end of a long day for these little penguins, and now the end of a long career for Dr. Peter Dan. The conservationist has been credited with bringing big numbers of the little penguins back to the beaches of Phillip Island. I've met people who don't like Christmas and, and cats, but uh, I've, I've never met anyone who doesn't like penguins, so I, I think they're just very charismatic wildlife. Peter Dan is preparing to retire after working with the island's little penguin population for 42 years. The number of the penguins roosting in the island's dunes has quadrupled in that time. I don't think it's the colony can get much bigger than this. Efforts to save the penguin have included building penguin boxes to keep them safe from predators and eliminating foxes from the island. A state government buyback of the island's Summerland housing estate over a 25-year period was also integral. The removal of a coastal village from the middle of the penguin colony, which is the first time, and I think it's the only time it's been done in the world for conservation purposes. When Dr Dan began working here on Phillip Island in the early 1980s, little penguins were on the brink of extinction. Now, more than four decades later, the island is home to the largest colony of little penguins in the world, with more than 40,000 across the peninsula. He's just a wealth of knowledge. He really is the little penguin encyclopedia of the world. Phillip Island's Penguin Parade is a hugely popular tourist attraction, drawing more than 700,000 people to the island every year. A legacy Dr Dan is now leaving for his team to continue. I've got a lot of things on my bucket list to do and, and so I'd like to st start doing them. And, and I can do, do so knowing that penguins are in great hands. The parade is a side Dr Dan says he will never get sick of. But from now on, he'll be watching on as a spectator. Mahno Zanguri, ABC News, Phillip Island.